Open training looks a lot different than the training that we do in the off season for the sport of CrossFit. To illustrate that, I'm gonna walk you through a sample training day, which is January 31st from our TTT Compete program. That is the fifth Monday in our open prep cycle. We have four divisions in the program, an RX division, a master's division, an intermediate division, and an elite division. But I'm gonna dig into the RX option first, and then I'm gonna kinda of explain how things adjust off of that main program. So first things first, a, find a max of the complex, one deadlift, one clean, one hang clean, one jerk. That should look familiar to you because it is actually from the 2021 Open. It was the complex that was for 21.3, or I guess that would be 21.4. B is overhead squat at 2111. That's a tempo. It means two seconds down, a one second pause in the bottom, one second to get to the top, and a one second pause at the top. It's 642 progressive loading and decrease in reps as you're going, and two to three minutes rest between those overhead squats. C is a complex of accessory work. It's three sets moving from hamstring curls on the rower with a slow eccentric, 12 to 15 Patrick step ups, and five seated swivel hips. Okay, hold up. If you have no idea what these movements are, we have these movements linked as demos in the program so you can watch and see how to perform them properly. After you finish the strength portion in RX option one, you move into a Metcon, which is 21, 15, nine of deadlift at 315 and 225, strict handstand pushups and box jump overs at 24 or 20 inches. So what we're working on thematically right now as we're getting ready for the open is in our strength work, we are training for a varied distribution of potential strength tests. So in the off season, generally we simplify things and say, okay, we're gonna try to improve snatch, clean and jerk, back squat, and some of the major lifts. But if that's all you focus on, and then you end up trying to do a max complex like this in the CrossFit Open, it's really hard to figure out how do you transition from your hook grip in, back into a hook grip after you've done a bunch of reps. And trying to train yourself to be better at complexes is a skill that needs to be trained, but it can't really be trained all season. So during our open prep cycle, we've actually created progressions that work on these complex style lifts. So this will be tested in week one of the program in open prep cycle, and then we retest in week five after going through some progressions. The overhead squats and the hamstring curls, this is kind of accessory work to support some of the lifts that we want to train in this cycle. And one of the differences in open prep is that the total volume of this is much lower than we would do in an off season. Generally in the off season, people have gone through a lot of CrossFit style training, a lot of linear patterns, knees, shoulders, hips, elbows, that type of stuff could get really sore. So we do a lot of accessory work in the off season. In our open prep cycle, this volume drops pretty substantially. And you'll see here, it's only three sets and then three sets of this accessory work. So this is probably only 20 to 30 minutes of total accessory work in a normal training day where sometimes this can be upwards of an hour in potentially an off-season style training. Then the Metcon, that's pretty straightforward. These are really common patterns that are played out in the open. Deadlift and handstand push-up has come out together in the form of Diane into deadlift and handstand walk. So we try to pair these patterns together and take them out of intervals and put them more towards Metcons as we get into open prep. Another thing that we add every day in the training program, you'll have a short video describing the intent and purpose of each training session so that you have to take out all the guesswork and you know exactly how the training should feel. So this is the training day. Those are some of the differences. Now, one of the things that we have in our program is we have two options. Okay, look, we created option two because the name of the game in this sport is consistency and longevity. And what we've seen over the years, even with higher level athletes, is the ability to go in and adjust their training as needed so that they can stay consistent in a program. So this allows athletes as they're going through to step into the gym, go through their warm up, and decide, okay, can I get after the full thing or do I need a little bit of a volume building and skills based day that's not gonna be as taxing so that way when I do get to the open, I'm actually healthy and ready to go. So the differences in RX option of this training day for option two is this complex is actually the same. So there's no change for the strength work. 
We remove the overhead squat accessory work. We reduce the volume of the accessory work from three sets to two sets. And then we took this from being a straight Metcon, that kind of max effort stress, into an every three minutes times five of the same movements. The coaching here is that you're gonna do this at max effort, you're gonna do active recovery biking in between the intervals, and there's a two minute cap on every one of the sets, meaning that no matter what, you're gonna get at least one minute of rest. So you can see we're still attacking all of the open style stuff. It's just a reduction in the total intensity where you're able to focus on getting those those skills built at max effort, but without all the fatigue that could potentially come out by doing it in a max effort format. So that is the RX option. The RX option is basically the framework for building out all of the other divisions. So the intermediate division is gonna do something very similar to this, except prior to it, one of the things our coach Mia does is build gymnastic skill progressions for the open. In open prep right now, we're working on chest -to bars as one of the major skills for the intermediate path. So before this, there's a chest -to bar skill workout then this workout is actually reduced to lighter loads. It's actually 225, 185, or 225, 155, sorry. And then we change this strict handstand pushups to kipping handstand pushups. So that way intermediate athletes still get the opportunity to hit an open style workout, but it's within the realm of what their strength profiles and skill profile looks like. Our intermediate path is not just about scaling workouts, right? We're actually creating programs that have the intent of helping you progress to the next stage in the sport. So if you're an aspiring RX competitor, follow the intermediate program, get better at the movement so that you can move on and compete at the next level. For masters, the masters athletes are essentially doing the same two training options. They have an option one and an option two. The adjustments are just made relative to the different age groups that are out there. So the weights and the movements are based on what age categories you're in, but the training is very, very similar. For the elite athletes, what the training day would look like is this is all as one session. So you can put maximal effort into the strength work, then you rest and recover, you come back, you do this as a secondary session, so that way you're coming in and you have the opportunity to warm up fully and just hit that one workout at maximal intensity. And then the third session of the day is actually 2K row progressions. As we get ready for the open, elite athletes are oftentimes going to be asked to row, whether that's in the open or whether that's in quarterfinals. So there's multiple rowing progressions in the open prep cycle. The elites on Mondays are doing 2K progressions, so there would be 2K row progressions in on this day. But thematically, that should give you an understanding of how we train in the open and what open prep looks like that's different from the off season. Hope you enjoy this sample day. You can hit it or join us in the program and do the whole damn thing. Okay, so that was one sample training day. If you wanna look at a full week, head to trainingthinktank.com slash compete.